Hello aviation enthusiast and model collector Citrus Aviation here with another video and today we are doing a model release video however this is not going to be a Gemini Jets model release video however this is going to be an NG models release video. I, I've done only Gemini Jets so far on this channel but the fact is NG models this month absolutely blew it out of the park, out of the water, out of the country of how great these models are and I really recommend you go check them out. At wherever you like to buy your engine models from. Uh, so we're here on EasyToys.com. Uh, so in their pre-orders, a couple of these are not new releases. So the uh, A330, uh, the Beluga XL. This is a last month release as well as the 75 in the Royal Nepal and Airlines. As well as these top four here. So these were from last month, but now we're moving to the new August 2019. Releases, these are all 1 for 100 scales for this month. There are no 1 200 scale models this month. So let's get right into it. I'm just saying these models are really, really good and I think they'll sell out very quickly. NG Models is definitely here to compete. Um, so, first off, we have the El Mexico 77 9 uh, X ray Alpha Death Alpha Delta Lima in the special livery. Uh, this really artsy, cool livery. I can't pronounce it. But uh, yeah, this is. Uh, model is available. It has an MSRP of $60. It's really my only issue with NG models one for one scales that the models are massively overpriced. But on that, they're really good. So I'm pretty sure this model will be popular. And then we have another 757. They pretty much make it every 757 ever made. So here we have the American 757-200 in the flagship Freedom. Paint scheme. We're going to see another one of these uh, later in the release. But this one's a 757 200. I have yet to get an NG model 757, but uh, a decent chance I might get this one. But anyway, I don't think that one will be very popular, but it's cool to see that they're making push every 75 they can think of. Uh, next, we have the JMCL 757 200 Golf Daz Foxtrot Charlie Lima Alpha. I didn't even know this was even a 75, but it's cool to see it. Oh, no, the American registration is November 690 Alpha Alpha. Alright, next one uh, is a model I'm really considering getting, but I'm probably not going to buy right off. Uh, it is the United Airlines 757 200 uh, with the Skimitar Winglet in the Star Alliance colors. Uh, this is November 14120. This model was made by JC Wings in 1200 scale uh, back in 2015, uh, but it did not have the Skimitar winlets. Uh, so this model will be very popular. I might even get it myself. But yeah, this one's going to be a very popular release. And then next we have a model that I will without doubt be getting. Uh, this is November. 525 Uniform Sierra. It is a Delta 757-200. Uh, this aircraft was retired, I believe, in 2015. However, I did see this aircraft in July 2014 at Raleigh Dome, so I will begin this model. Alright, next we have the Delta Sky Team 757-200. Uh, this one is registered as a November 659 Delta Lima. Uh, they have about five or they have like something like five or six of these Sky Team 757s. Uh, I have heard that this aircraft has been repainted; it's no longer in the Sky Team. But uh, I still recommend getting it because they have a lot of Sky Team 75s. And I mean, the only other option is to try to find on eBay the old Gemini Jets release, and this one's going to be cheaper on that. I, you can obviously see what the price here is. I think these are massively overpriced. They ha have gone more expensive, and Gemini does know how to charge a lot for the models. At least the one for one. The one two hundred is actually not too expensive. Next we have the Shanghai Airlines 757-200 uh, Bravo-2876. Fine model, probably won't begin it. Um, next we have a model that is going to be very popular. It's going to sell out on pre-order. The American Airlines 737-800 in the regular livery. This is registered as November 920, November, November. Uh, this one does not appear to be a Wi-Fi box equipped to model, but it is looking really good. And look at all those aerials. There's one, two, three, four, five. So that may justify the price. I don't really like the Gemini Jets mold. And despite the fact this is more expensive, if it is a really good mold, I think this will be worth it. And it's going to sell out. It is going to be cheaper than trying to find a Gemini Jets one on eBay. 
Alright, next we have the other flagship Liberty 737, the other flagship Liberty aircraft. This is a 737-800, November 905, Alpha November. This aircraft, if I'm correct, later got painted as the new Astrojet aircraft. Uh, but yeah, this is in the flagship Liberty. I do think we will see the other special livery models come out from NG models, such as the flagship Liberty and a few others. But anyway, this is a really good looking model. And I very much will probably get this. I'm going to go so bankrupt after this release set. <laughs> Alright, here's the other one that's going to really sell out on pre-order. If you want this model, you have to get right away. It is the United 737-800 new livery. With split skin guitar wheelings, November 37267. This is the original 737-800 painted in the new livery. And it's going to be very popular and sell out. So if you want it, you have to go get it right away. And then the f we have yeah, two more sets of releases. And these are also really good. Uh, we have the Air Canada 787-9. Charlie-Foxtrot Victor November Delta. Giant Jets has not yet released this, and I don't think Phoenix Malls has, so this one's going to be very popular as well. So for all of my Canadian collectors who are looking for this, this is your chance to get one right now. Get the NG Malls one. Probably the Giant Jets one will be a few dollars cheaper, but if you need one right now, get that. Next we have the Virgin Atlantic 787-9 Golf Dash Victor Zulu India Golf. Uh, this aircraft has been released many times before by both uh, Phoenix models and German Jets, so if you include this release, it's probably the fifth one that you could buy in 1400. But there's still a lot of people who want a Virgin Atlantic 79, so I do think this one will be popular. Uh, next, we have the British Airways 787 9, Golf Daz Zulu Bravo Kilo Romeo. Um, I might get this one. Because I do need, at some point, a British Airways 787-9. And, uh, yeah, I do think this won't be popular. And then next we have a Kazakhstan Government A330-200. Uniform Papa dash Alpha 3001. Um, this one will probably be very popular as well. Oh, actually, no, not really, but, you know, if you want an A330 for this government airline, you can. And that's one cool thing for NG models. They're making so many models that no one else has made. Even even the obscure ones that maybe five people in the world are interested in, but they still make them, which is cool. And that's what they're doing for all the models. They're just making as many, as many, as many of whatever airline they can think of, and that's cool. Next, we have the Air Canada A330-300 Charlie Golf Echo Foxtrot Alpha. Uh, new livery Air Canada A330. Um, so if you like need another one, in addition to your German Jets one, or you don't have an Air Canada A330 yet, this is a good option. Again, it is a few dollars too expensive, but you know, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, next is a South African Airways A330-300, uh, Zulu Sierra-Sierra X-Ray Mike. This aircraft would be a good option for many European collectors, but not really for North American collectors that don't have the range to get to North America. Uh, simply because of it has to take a really, really long route either north or south around the poles to get to the United States. And so that's why I've seen A340s, triple sevens, and that sort of thing flying to South Africa from the United States. So for us North American collectors, this will not be a very good option. But um, great if you're in Asia, Middle East, European airport, or African airport. Alright, next we have a highly anticipated model. Uh, a, by a Southern Germany Jets 1975, we have a Delta Airlines L1011-200, November 730 Delta Alpha. This is looking like a great model. I'm sorry this will be very popular with the Delta Retro Collectors. As an L1011-200, as far as I know, has never been made for Delta Airlines. Finally, we have the LTU, L1011-100, um, Delta Delta Alpha Echo Romeo November. And that is it for the releases. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, which ones are you interested in? Because particularly if you're a North American collector, I know there's going to be at least a couple in here you really, really want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this release video from a company that I haven't really done release videos for, but I've been impressed with the one NG model CRJ200 I have. Uh, they're making good stuff. 
And what I really like about them is, is that they're an actual alternative to German Jets, who releases lots of models. They pretty much release everything, so if that's something you want, they probably have made it, or will make it soon, if it's a mold they make. So currently for 1400 molds, they're making the 757, 200 in every variant, the 737, 800, the 7879, and the A330, 300, along with the L1011 in all variants. Uh, molds are coming soon, will be the 777, um, and they also have a couple of private jets they'll be making soon in 1 to 200 scale. They'll be doing the, I believe, Gulfstream G550 and the Dassault Falcon 7X. So those are going to be great models, and I, I just like it. Whenever they make a mold, they make everything they can think of, every livery, every everything. So that's really good. Go check NG models out. I really do want to support them because they're a great alternative to Gemma Jets. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day, and God bless you.